A man has just emerged from the bathroom after spending quite some time cleaning his body. He's only wearing a towel around his waist, leaving his upper body exposed. His sturdy and athletic physique is clearly visible, not to mention his tempting abs that would surely drive women crazy seeing them. The man is Jian Jungkook, CEO of the Jian Group Company. Just as he was about to enter his dressing room, his phone suddenly buzzed, prompting him to approach the nightstand where his phone lay. There, he sees a message from his friend named Yoon Woo. Where are you right now? Jungkook immediately responds to the message. I'm at my apartment, what's up? Shortly after, another response comes through. You must be lying, huh? You're probably at the club now. Earlier I invited you for a drink but you declined and now you're at the club without inviting me. Jungkook furrows his brows at his friend's question. What's gotten into Yoonwoo? I'm not at the club. I'm really at the apartment. Just finished showering. I don't believe you. Prove that you just finished showering. Jungkook sighs heavily and finally takes a snapshot of himself just after showering, without wearing a top. As he's about to press the send button, the doorbell of his apartment rings, indicating that his dinner order has arrived. In a rush, he quickly puts on his clothes before opening the door and indeed, it's the food he ordered online before taking a shower. On the other side, a woman is seen lying on her bed, engrossed in her phone. She bursts into laughter several times while reading comics on her phone. She is Park Yin, a beautiful woman with a cheerful and fun personality. Yin is enjoying reading comics when suddenly she pauses her activity upon receiving a message notification on her phone. She furrows her brows when she sees the name of her company's CEO who sent her the message. Why did Mr. Jungkook suddenly send me a message? She's puzzled as to why her usually cold and stiff boss would send her a message at night. She knows her boss only sends messages to employees when something very important arises. This time, Yin hopes it's not an additional task she has to work on right now, considering Jungkook usually only messages her when instructing her to do something. Finally, she opens the messaging app to see the message sent by her boss. Immediately, Yin widens her eyes upon seeing the contents of the message. She even rubs her eyes several times to make sure what she's seeing is real. Oh my goodness, what is this? Why did Mr. Jungkook send a photo of himself without a shirt? What is his intention in sending me a photo like this? Could it be because he's interested in me? That's impossible coming from the cold and stiff guy he is. Yin keeps verifying if the photo was indeed sent from her CEO's number. She double checks multiple times and it's confirmed that it's indeed her CEO's number. For a moment, Yin is transfixed by his body. It's the body of her dreams, so ideal. Since she enjoys reading comics, she often imagines herself having a man with a body like this. I have to save it immediately before he deletes this message. After saving it in her gallery, she chuckles to herself. But now she's really curious about her boss's true intentions. It seems like I'll have to ask about this tomorrow, because this is really important for me to inquire about. The next morning, Jungkook, who was busy with his files, was distracted when the door to his office was opened by his friend, Yoon Woo, who also happened to be the planning manager at his company. Hey, I ask you were going to send me a photo of you just after showering. I waited all night, but you didn't send it. It looks like my guess was right. You went to the club without inviting me. I didn't go to the club last night and I did send you my photo last night. What photo? You didn't send me any photos last night. Yoon Woo takes out his phone and shows the messaging app to Jungkook. Look. You didn't send me any photos. Jungkook becomes even more confused and finally checks his phone to see to whom he mistakenly sent the photo he was supposed to send to Yoonwoo. Instantly, his eyes widen when he realizes that he indeed sent the photo to the wrong person. Quickly, he deletes the message and hopes the recipient didn't notice the sent photo. Yoonwoo looks at Jungkook with surprise as he seems panicked. What's wrong with you? Why do you look so panicked? Jungkook remains silent but eventually, Yoonwoo realizes something and immediately guesses. Oh my, could it be that you mistakenly sent it to someone else? Jungkook sighs heavily and nods slowly. This revelation shocks Yoon Woo who covers his mouth with his hand. What? Seriously? Whom did you send it to? Jungkook. Who's the lucky person who got to see your body? Can't you keep your mouth shut so I don't get more upset? Huh? Okay, sorry sorry. But I hope you send it to a guy by mistake. It would be a relief if you send it to your dad or mom. If it were my dad or mom, I wouldn't be worried at all idiot. So. Whom did you mistakenly send it to? Whose eyes were tainted by seeing your body? To one female employee here. Her name is Park Yin. Um, Park Yin. Oh, she's one of my subordinates. But why do you have her number? Don't you remember that we've had many projects lately and she's the one in charge of that project? You're the one who gave me her number. Oh yeah, you're right. So what are you going to do now? 
I don't know. I've deleted the message. Hopefully she hasn't read it since last night. Impossible. She must have read it by now, especially if it's a message from her CEO. She would have read it right away. She wouldn't dare to ignore a message from her boss. Hearing what Yoon Woo said only makes Jungkook feel more panicked and anxious. Indeed, as Yoon Woo said, it's unlikely that the girl hasn't opened the message yet. But even if she's seen it, it's not a big deal, right? Besides, she's a beautiful woman. Many men in this office have feelings for her although, her behavior is a bit. What? What's wrong with her behavior? Honestly, Jungkook is really curious about Yoon's behavior, as he was actually interested in her a few weeks ago. But his busy schedule as a CEO prevented him from indulging in his feelings. He's been too busy to even think about his feelings. That's Jungkook, the workaholic. What do you think of her? What's her personality like? She's a very cheerful and brave person. She'll say whatever's on her mind without much thought and without fearing the consequences of her words. But that's why I often use her judgment for a product that needs my selection. Sometimes her words can be quite sharp. And also, her way of thinking is sometimes a bit strange. In short, she often acts randomly. For some reason, hearing Yoon Woo's explanation about Yin's behavior makes Jungkook feel uneasy. Random? Is that how the girl is? Clearly, she seems to be anything but ordinary. I guess I was wrong to be interested in that girl. But I'm curious about how random her behavior is. Alright? I'll go now. Have a good day at work, Mr. CEO. Seriously, I hope she hasn't seen this message yet. If she has, I won't be able to look her in the eye properly. A woman appears very focused in front of her computer screen, working on her office tasks. She is Yin, starting her usual work routine. However, several times she is slightly unfocused because she still remembers the message sent by her CEO. She really wants to ask the man directly why he sent that photo to her. Yin takes her phone and reopens the messaging app, immediately looking puzzled because the message has been retracted or deleted by him. Does that mean he really did send that photo by mistake? Who would he send that photo to? Oh, or maybe he already has a girlfriend and he was going to send it to her? Instantly, she touches her chest and puts on a rather dramatic expression. Um, if he does have a girlfriend, it seems like I'm one of the heartbroken women who fell for him. Me and the other female employees will cry together when we see that he already has a girlfriend. Yin immediately pretends to cry and wipes away tears that aren't actually there. Suddenly, her colleague named Lim Yuna comes over to her desk. What's wrong with you? You look sad and heartbroken, rubbing your chest like that. Yin gives her an awkward smile and shakes her head. Oh no, I'm not sad. Oh yeah, Mrs. Hayaji asked me to give you this proposal document. She said you need to deliver it to Mr. Jungkook for immediate review. It's related to the project you handled yesterday. Yin's eyes sparkle. Isn't this her chance to ask her CEO directly? Yin quickly takes the document and goes to her CEO's office. Yin knocks on the door of the room, and shortly after, a voice can be heard from inside. Come in. Upon entering, she sees him focused in front of a pile of files. For a moment, she is silent, staring at him, whom she thinks is very handsome. Especially because of the photo from last night, she imagines the man without a shirt. Yin finally snaps out of it and walks toward her CEO's desk. Excuse me sir, I want to deliver the proposal from the planning division. Fine, just. Jungkook's words immediately stop when he sees the woman in front of him. The woman whom he mistakenly sent the photo to last night. For some reason, he feels nervous now. Jungkook quickly changes his expression to a blank stare. Just leave it there and please leave. Yin puts the proposal file on his desk, but she doesn't leave. This makes Jungkook look at her with surprise. Is there anything else you want to say? Yin shakes her head. Suddenly, a mischievous idea pops into her mind. No, I just suddenly remembered your topless photo. The pen held by him instantly falls from his hand and he looks at her with shock. For a moment, Jungkook can't say anything. You, so you've seen that photo? Yes, I've seen it. You misunderstood. I mistakenly sent that photo to you. But I'm sorry, I saw it clearly. Is that photo for your girlfriend? You don't need to know where that photo is going to be sent. You should leave now. Wait sir. Can I ask one more thing? What? How do you get a body like yours? It seems like you enjoy going to the gym, right? Your body is really athletic. I didn't even expect you to have a body like that under the shirt you wear. Jungkook is truly stunned. It seems like what Yoon Woo said is true. This girl is so random. How could I ever have been interested in a girl like her? I already told you to leave, didn't I? Yin smiles. It seems the CEO is feeling awkward because of her words. Alright, then I'll leave. Actually, I hoped I would satisfy my curiosity. But never mind. Jungkook can't believe what Yin just said. After Yin leaves, he rubs his face roughly. 
And why did I have to mistakenly send it to a random girl like her? Since that day, things have changed quite a bit. For some reason, Yin has been enjoying teasing her CEO. She finds pleasure in seeing her CEO become awkward with her words. This only fuels her desire to continue teasing him, even though it often ends with Jungkook scolding her. Sir, wait. Yin rushes into the closing elevator doors. They've just finished a meeting and now they're alone in the elevator. Silence fills the space until... Um, sir, I... What is it now? If you're just going to tease me again, I won't forgive you Yin. Because of her mischievous attitude, Yin often gets punished with overtime by Jungkook. However, Yin never minds it. In fact, she earns more money from the overtime bonuses, which adds to her savings. I'm just curious about your athletic body. What's your workout routine? It feels surreal to see such a perfect body. It's like the bodies I often see in the comics I read. Is that for your girlfriend? Jungkook gives Yin a sharp look. But Yin just laughs at his annoyed expression. It's nothing. I'm just really impressed by your ability to create such a beautiful body. Maybe I should get a boyfriend so I can ask him to work out too. And have a nice body like yours. Jungkook really wants to get angry right now. His employee always teases him with that photo that apparently wasn't deleted. It was pointless for him to delete the message yesterday if she had already saved the photo beforehand. Can you please stop saying all that? I've told you multiple times not to mention that photo again or talk about my body. It's very uncomfortable, you know? And I'm asking you to delete that photo from your phone. If you do something like this again, my patience with you will truly run out. And don't regret it. If I do something you'll regret later. Sorry sir. Jungkook finally exits as the elevator doors open, right on the floor of his office. He leaves Yin behind, who just smiles as she watches him go. Will Yin be scared by her boss's words? Of course not. She still has plenty of energy to tease her CEO. When else can she tease her boss like this? Your expression is so funny sir, I'll keep teasing you. Jungkook enters his office and sits down immediately. He leans back in his chair, adjusting his breathing, his eyes closed. That girl really, should I punish her more? I've made her work overtime so many times, but she seems to enjoy it because of the increasing bonuses. What punishment is suitable for her? So she'll shut up and stop teasing me. But suddenly, a faint smirk starts to appear on his thin lips. I think I know what I should do to make her scared. The next day, Yin is currently delivering some documents to her CEO's office. She's prepared with mischievous thoughts in her mind. Whatever it is, she never gives up or fears her boss's wrath. Good morning, sir. Yin walks in with a wide smile and places the documents on Jungkook's desk who stares blankly at her. Next, Jungkook remains silent and focuses on the papers in front of him. He tries to ignore Yin's presence. Sir, these are the documents you need to sign. Now, Jungkook promptly signed the papers. Here, instead of leaving Yin continues to gaze at Jungkook in front of her. She's actually quite amazed by her boss's handsome face. Jungkook sighs heavily. Are you still planning to tease me now? You better not act like you did yesterday or I can't imagine what I'll do to you. Stunned by Jungkook's words, Yin tries to respond, but once again, I haven't even said anything yet, and you're already threatening me sir? Now I know exactly what's on your mind. I was just praising your great body, not mocking it. All right, it seems like this is what you want. He rises from his seat, walks to the entrance of his office, and locks the door. Then, he approaches Yin and starts unbuttoning his shirt. Sir, what are you doing? since you've been admiring my body so much, right? So, I'll show it to you to satisfy your curiosity. If you've only seen it in pictures now, that's enough sir. I promise I won't tease you anymore. Stop teasing me, the problem now is, I want to tease you. Now, with all the buttons of his shirt undone, revealing his perfect abs, Jungkook approaches closer. Meanwhile, Yin closes her eyes with one hand, but Jungkook grabs her hand. Open your eyes and see my body as much as you want. Sir, there's no need. Fine then. He takes Yin's hand and guides it to touch his abs. Yin flinches and tries to pull her hand away, but Jungkook's grip is stronger. He keeps her hand on his abs. Can you feel it now? What do you think? Are you still not satisfied? I'm very satisfied sir. So from now on, I won't tease you anymore. Yin is visibly flustered now, her face blushing and her gaze pleading with Jungkook to release her hand. Alright, now promise me that you won't tease or taunt me anymore. I promise, sir. With a thin smirk, Jungkook finally releases Yin's hand. In that case, I'll excuse myself now, sir. Jungkook remains silent, just chuckling softly and watching as Yin starts walking towards the door. But as the door opens, both Yin and Jungkook are shocked to see a middle-aged man standing behind it. Dad? Instantly, Yin freezes, glancing at Jungkook, whose shirt is still unbuttoned, showing his toned abs. 
The middle-aged man is equally surprised. Jungkook, what are you doing? 